Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Circuitry Simplified by Dr. Shobhanika. In this video, we will talk about combinational circuits and sequential circuits. Both of them are types of digital circuit. It means they work on ones and zeros. So their inputs are digital and their outputs are also digital. So combinational circuits are where output depends on present inputs only. So whichever inputs we apply based on those inputs, it calculates the outputs. For example, adder, subtractor, multiplexer, decoder, where whatever inputs we apply, we get output based on those inputs. Next comes sequential circuit. So in case of sequential circuits, output depends on present inputs which we are applying externally as well as the previous output and to apply that previous output we need to store those previous outputs then where we can store those outputs in memory element so here in sequential circuits we use flip flops because flip flop is also called as one bit memory cell one flip flop can store one bit data so here in feedback path the memory elements are connected to store previous data or previous output. So in sequential circuits, output depends on present external inputs as well as internal inputs that is previous outputs. So in any circuit where clock input is present, flip flop is present, that is example of sequential circuit. So sequential circuits are nothing but registers, counters, memory devices, all of them are sequential circuits. So let's differentiate them. In combinational circuit, memory element is absent. So very first difference is no memory element. Or memory element is absent. Here, memory is present. Or memory element is present. Memory element is nothing but flip-flop. One mandatory input to flip-flop is clock. So second difference is no clock. Here in case of sequential circuits, clock is present. Next difference is here whatever inputs we apply we get outputs so they are faster. Whereas in case of sequential circuits, output depends on previous output also. So we need to wait for clock so that after clock we will get previous output. So they are faster as compared to sequential circuits and they are slower as compared to combinational circuits. Then here they are complex. So implementation of combinational circuits is easy and here in sequential circuit they are slightly harder to implement harder for implementation here complexity is less here complexity is more but here functionality is limited in some applications we can't use combinational circuits where previous data previous history is needed in that case we need to use sequential circuits. So in this way we can differentiate combinational circuits and sequential circuits. Examples of combinational are mux, dmux, adders, subtractors, wherever clock is absent, flip flops are not present and output depends on present inputs only, those are combinational circuits. And in sequential, wherever flip flop is present, clock is present, there are sequential circuits like registers, counters, etc. Thank you so much for watching.